Hi, this is Dr. David Green with PreferredPainCenter.com, where we bring you anything and everything education for pain management. Today the topic is a very exciting one, and that is platelet-rich plasma injections. Uh, for short, that's known as PRP. Now, what's so exciting about PRP? Well, right now, regenerative medicine is just sort of coming into the realm of clinical usage. Now, most of the treatments that are being done for pain management today involve the proverbial band-aid where you mask symptoms and you help with pain control. And that's with things like, such as steroid injections, uh, like epidural injections, facet blocks, joint injections. Do they work well? Absolutely. Do they change the disease? No, they don't. They don't actually fix anything, really. So the next phase of pain management is regenerative medicine. And that involves things such as stem cell injections, PRP, and those types of, of things. Now, PRP, what is it? Well, platelet-rich plasma um, is, comes from your own blood, and you take some blood from the arm. So it's a simple blood draw of about 30 to 60 cc's, and it gets put into a centrifuge machine, which is a simple machine that just spins the blood around very, very fast. And it separates the blood into three components. The bottom part is discarded, that's red blood cells, that's not part of platelet-rich plasma. The middle part is mostly white blood cells, and that's actually not used for this either. The top part that results is what's used, and that includes platelets, a lot of growth factors, proteins, and those types of things that can be very, very helpful for regenerating tissue that's been damaged. Okay, What is it used for? Well, there have been thousands of studies looking at platelet-rich plasma, and a lot of them show that it's very effective. There's not a real large-scale study yet, but what it's being used for is tendonitis conditions, such as golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, Achilles tendonitis, rotator cuff tendonitis, you know, multiple areas around the body, patellar tendonitis around the knee, those types of things. Ligament injury, such as ligament injuries around the knee, like the medial collateral, the lateral collateral, ankle ligament injuries. And then also, now it's also being used for arthritis. So if you have really bad knee arthritis, PRP might be a very effective uh, treatment mechanism to potentially repair some of that damage. Well, how does it work? That's one of the things we don't understand extremely well. But what we do know is that you know platelets help a lot in the healing process. The PDGF, the platelet-derived growth factor that is involved with platelets, helps a lot as well. And there's a lot of other growth factors that are in plasma that can also help. Another thing that PRP does is it pulls in, it acts as an attractant for stem cells in your body to come into the area. So rather than injecting stem cells directly into the joint that's a problem or the soft tissue area, it says, okay body, I need stem cells. And it will cause the bone marrow to pump them out to the problem area, and those are just blank slate cells. So they can turn into cartilage, they can turn into muscle, skin, you know, whatever the area is that they're in, they can sort of turn into, you know, they're very flexible. They're like chameleon type cells. So the uh, three major sports leagues, NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball, I don't think the NHL, but they've all supported the use of platelet-rich plasma. So it is becoming more mainstream. It is not covered by insurance yet, but it is within the realm of most people's um, pocketbook, you know, so it's not costing thousands and thousands of dollars. It's very low risk. It's an outpatient procedure. It doesn't take a whole day. You don't have to spend the night anywhere. Um, and Arizona Pain is performing the procedure now. And like I mentioned, it is being used for soft tissue injury, um, arthritis, uh, whether it's in the shoulder or the hip or the ankle, it has a lot of utility around the body. So check out my website, which is preferredpaincenter.com. There's a lot of information on platelet-rich plasma, and it may just be a great option for you. Now, a couple quick things. When you have the injection, it may hurt more for the first two days than previous. That's because the inflammation that it sparks up starts the healing process. It's not as quick of a pain relief as like an epidural injection uh, or a joint injection because you're healing the tissue as opposed to simply masking pain. So keep that in mind. The risks of the procedure are extremely low. First of all, it's your own tissue. So 
so you're not going to have a uh, uh, problem with an allergic reaction or a re rejection of it. Um, and But you may have a, um, an issue with infection. It's very low risk, but possible, okay? Um, or if there's other medications used uh, for the procedure, you could have an allergic reaction to that. The number for Arizona pain is 602-507-655. They have clinics all over the valley. They take over 50 insurance plans as well as self-pay, Medicare, and access. I'm Dr. David Green with PreferredPainCenter.com. Your pain stops here.